Assalamu alaikum brother <laughs> Yes yes It's Eid Mubarak one That's right Hope you had an absolute lovely Eid If you didn't You know it is what it is But if you did then Alright calm down don't show off and that isn't it It's good to be It's good to be humble and that <laughs> As you guys know many people are recovering from their lives Getting back to work Recovering their finances after the whole of this COVID crisis. But a Tory MP, it's got to be one of the Tories, isn't it? Especially when it comes to Islamophobia. So you've got another one. This time his name is Chris Whitaker. Yup, he has taken it upon himself to blame the minorities, like the blacks. Um, also NHS, yep, he's blamed the NHS as well and extra emphasis is given on the Muslims. What the hell's your problem? You got bricks in your butt, you clown! Now of course we've seen uncivilized and primitive governments like that of India who also blamed Muslims as well when the data clearly proved otherwise. On the other hand we had BLM marches here and in America because of the misuse of power by the police and of course people were even blaming our black brothers and sisters for spreading Covid as well. So this retired James Bond looking spray tan using IQ of an overused toilet brush Tory MP used his position to spew what can only be described as verbal diarrhea Damn. at the worst time possible. It's like you're in a family gathering and that's the time your grandpa decides to do a shot. If you know, <laughs> if you know then you know. It's the worst time possible, the evening is now ruined as is the sofa. Now considering what we've been through together as a nation, nay, as a planet, these parasites of hate need to be disciplined. Yeah, so if you are the carer of Chris Whitaker, when he gets back to the old people's home, please, you know, get him to sit on the naughty step or something. Yeah. <laughs> Those of you that watch the news, I know it's very difficult to do considering the nonsense that we find inside it, will know that Friday on the day of Eid, yeah, you had people, not Muslims, that were packing out the beaches. No social distancing, nothing mate. We know Tory MPs have been violating the lockdown rules as well. In fact even Boris Johnson's father violated the lockdown rule and when Boris was asked he said it's best to just ask him isn't it? Parties and raves have been happening which is clearly Muslims isn't it? Yeah that's right. Oh wait it's not. As you can see it has been covered in the news but not as much as say when an Asian yeah the uh, MP I think of Luton when he violates lockdown. Now Muslims have been very supportive during the Covid crisis, those people that haven't been able to go out and get their shopping. Muslim charities have literally come together feeding these people for free. In the month of Ramadan or Ramadan, Muslims have to spend that in the mosque. Yeah, The mosque plays a very central part in Ramadan. Naturally this Ramadan Muslims didn't. Yeah, Eid. Many Muslims didn't even go to the Eid prayers, they prayed um, they, they didn't yeah but some here is one that actually took place in the football stadium yeah that's right you can see the Muslims over here doing the jihad on the grass and injecting Covid into the blades of grass obviously because then when the footballers can play afterwards and you know they'll catch Covid and there they'll have to visit the underpaid, underappreciated, undervalued NHS staff that has solely been powered by the claps that people have been doing at 8 o'clock. That's right, that's right. Just like these claps have powered the NHS staff, hopefully we will uh, do exactly the same for the government officials. Sorry. But outside where the Muslims were praying there were banners saying that Islam is evil and linking other social evils to Islam. Yeah, now that's very strange. 
You know why? Because about a week ago Wiley said some stuff about Jews, yeah? And everybody went crazy. The police got involved. The Home Secretary Preeti Patel got involved. He got banned on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. He got dropped by his manager and there was an absolute media frenzy. And you know what? Even when I did a video just uh, reporting what happened about the whole Wiley thing, YouTube labelled it as hate speech. So you can't even speak about stuff like this. And he didn't use words like Judaism is evil or Judaism is responsible for female genital mutilation or for grooming gangs. There would be absolute uproar. But yet, despite the police being there, that, that sort of stuff, it's okay if it's done against Muslims because obviously it's freedom of speech, isn't it? So the pH scale of color is not just used in distinguishing if somebody's a terrorist or a lone ranger with mental illness, it's now used to distinguish if somebody is spreading COVID or if somebody is just helping the economy. I'm not even going to fight it now. I know you're not going to monetize this video. Couldn't be bothered. I'm still going to release it anyway. The last video, the Wiley one, you can tell by the stats of my last 10 videos, he was clearly shadow banned. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Asalaamu As Alaikum.